And another headline for today is the case of disappearance of Khun Wan Chalom, such success Thai political activist who was in exile in Cambodia. He disappeared in the middle of the day from Phnom Penh on the 4th of June. That's right, yeah. It has been a week now since Wan Chalom uh, was kidnapped in broad daylight by a group of armed men uh, in Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. And up to today, up to this hour, it's quite clear that both Thai and Cambodian authorities still cannot shed any light on what happened to the Thai uh, political activist who has gone into self-exile in, in Cambodia in the aftermath of the military takeover in 2014. His family has called on both the Thai and Cambodian authorities to help locate the missing activist who fled to Cambodia in 2014. And today, opposition MPs raised questions about Wan Chalem's fate during the weekly house session. And the person who was the first to raise the issue was Khun Rang Siman Rom, an outspoken MP of Gao Klai Party, who came up to accuse the government of being too indifferent to what happened to Wan Chalem, who he said, as a Thai citizen, deserves protection from the government, despite his uh, different uh, political views from those in power. Yes. But there is some reaction from Thai Justice Minister Som Sak Thep Sutin. He said both the foreign ministry and Cambodian government were unable to confirm whether the alleged abduction has taken place, though the ministry is willing to look into the case of nine missing dissidents. And Som Sak also especially particularly mentioned that the incident happened on Cambodia's sovereignty, and that's all. He can tell that's according to Khun Som Sak Thep Sutin respond to Khun Rang Siman Rong. That's right. But it was the answer from Foreign Minister Khun Don Pramap Vinay, whom the opposition said made them feel very disappointed. <laughs> Khun Don said that the name Wan Chalem never rang a bell for him before the incident. And he said it was probably because Wan Chalem might not have been recognized as a threat to national security. That was why his name was never on the list of people to watch out. He said that the Thai Foreign Ministry has already asked Cambodian authorities to follow the case and they should be given time to do their work. Khun Don also insisted that Wan Chalem has never been classified as a refugee. He also claimed that the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNSCR, also doesn't have Wan Chalem on its list of political refugees. He said the incident has been leaked to the public by Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International and then blown up on the social media. So this is the response from the Foreign Minister, something that the opposition MPs, especially Khun Rang Siman Rom said, was very disappointing because as Foreign Minister, as a representative of the government, Khun Don should have come up with information that would show that the government uh, is concerned with, the, the, with the, the fate of a Thai citizen. Yes, but the reaction from Cambodian authority is very interesting, Khun Thep Chai, because the authority in Cambodia, in the beginning, they didn't confirm of any that they know about the incident at all. But yesterday, they came out to say that they will pursue the case and have this case investigated, yeah. especially on today, on the 10th of June. Yeah. So probably we will know more details after the police officer, police chief in Cambodia has more details. Yes, According to the Khmer Times, the, one of the English, daily, uh, uh, lang language, English language dailies in Phnom Penh, the Interior Ministry, Ministry of Cambodia has started investigation into Wan Chalem disappearance after receiving a notification from the Thai Embassy in Phnom Penh. So let's see what will happen in the next few days. And of course, this is something that really, uh, that many Thai people are looking forward to hearing uh, some progress, uh, especially from, from, the, from the Thai government side, which is supposed to be concerned with the, the welfare of Thai citizens, no matter who they are and no matter where they are. Yeah. Yes, that's very crucial response from people who use social media in Thailand that try to ask for Thai government to really pursue this case. No, but if we listen to the accounts given by witnesses quoted by Cambodian media, it's quite clear that Wan Chalem was abducted 
-hmm. But of course, the identities of the abductors who were heavily armed are not immediately known. So we still don't know uh, what led to the incident and who were involved in the abduction. Yeah. There's something that we hope that Cambodian authorities could shed some light on. Yeah. But today, from Kun Don's response in the parliament, he even said that it's the rumor raised by Human Rights Watch. <laughs> yeah. He used the word leaked. He said the <laughs> news about the incident about the Van Chalem's kidnapping was leaked to the media, to the public, by the New York-based Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International. And then the story got picked up and blown up in the social media. So there was a response that the opposition MP said came as a big, big disappointment yes. from someone who is foreign minister. Yeah. yeah. So that's the latest development on Wan Chalem's case.